Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we are going to look at the four latest Arsenal news. The first Arsenal news is that Paul Brown has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Orteta offered chance to sign 22-goal star who destroyed Arsenal, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of Netherlands international and PSV Eindhoven attacker Xavi Simons, Arsenal have reportedly been offered the chance to sign PSV Eindhoven star Xavi Simons this summer, the Gunners have started off the transfer window in style. Kai Havertz is the only one who has been signed, but Declan Rice and Jerry and Timber are both reportedly on the verge of joining the club as well. Now, Arsenal have been given an opportunity to sign one of Timber's international teammates, Simons. Here's what journalist Paul Brown claimed on Give Me Sport. Chavis Simons had a sensational campaign at PSV last season, and it is no surprise that he has been heavily linked with a move away from the Netherlands. The talented Dutch forward scored 22 goals and provided 12 assists in all competitions, which is an outrageous return for someone who is still only 20 years old. Paris Saint-Germain have an option to re-sign Simons for just over £5 million this summer. Unsurprisingly, they are really keen to do that, but a move is only possible if the youngster gives the green light, that hasn't happened yet, and Brown has claimed that Arsenal have been offered the chance to sign him now. He said, I know they have been offered Xavi Simons. They do have an interest there but haven't followed it up as yet, Romeo Lavia, they've clearly inquired about, so that would make him, of those names, the more likely to join. But as I say, I think that for Arsenal to buy another midfielder, once the Declan Rice deal is done, I think they'll be looking to move somebody out first. Chavis Simons has been a popular name in Europe for a few years now even though he's still just 20. Mikel Arteta probably knew all about him even before last season started, but the Gunners boss got the opportunity to watch him live when PSV faced Arsenal in the Europa League twice, Simons didn't score or assist against the Gunners in the two games, but he certainly impressed, especially in the game in Holland in which Arteta's men lost 2-0. Kevin Campbell was blown away by the youngster, he told Eagle Talks Football last month, I like him. I thought he was excellent at PSV. And when I watched him against Arsenal, I thought he destroyed us to be honest. The second Arsenal news is that Fabrizio Romano has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Arsenal will make an important announcement today, as Arsenal look to complete the contract extension of World France international and Arsenal defender William Saliba. Fabrizio Romano has just claimed that Arsenal will announce William Saliba's contract at some point today. The Gunners are having the time of their life. They've already signed Kai Havertz and announced Rhys Nelson's new contract, while deals for Declan Rice and Jerry and Timber are said to be on the verge of completion, today's Arsenal announcement, however, will be about Saliba, claimed Romano on Twitter, Arsenal signed William Saliba back in 2019. When Unai Emery was still at the club, the Frenchman was viewed by many as one of the best young defenders in the world at the time, but it took him three full years before he could make his Arsenal debut, since his debut, however, Saliba has been sensational. He was one of the best defenders in the Premier League last season, and it was his injury that led to Arsenal's title collapse, Saliba had entered the final year of his contract and Arsenal fans have been desperate for him to sign an extension. Romano claims it's done and will be announced in the coming hours, he tweeted, Arsenal will announce William Saliba's new contract later today. Saliba signed yesterday, as revealed 24 hours ago. Just time for official statement, Saliba was approached by several clubs but he only wanted to stay. Arsenal fans are extremely excited about Declan Rice's arrival, but Saliba's new contract may just prove to be the Gunners' most important signing of the window, the 22-year-old was absolutely integral for Arsenal last season. He was one of their best players, and when he wasn't available, they struggled. Even Gabriel Jesus admitted this week that Saliba's injury was the reason why Arsenal did not win the Premier League title last season, which shows just how important a player he is, Saliba is now set to stay, and Arsenal fans will be absolutely delighted once it's announced today. The third Arsenal news is that The Independent has confirmed an Arsenal update, as they confirm £170 million attacker decides Arsenal are the English club he wants to join, he's so impressed by Arteta, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of World Cup France international and PSG forward Kylian Mbappé. 
The idea of Kylian Mbappé signing for Arsenal might seem far-fetched but recent reports have started the ball rolling, Mbappé is being linked with a move to Arsenal after reports suggested the Gunners would be open to making a stunning move for him if he was to leave PSG, of course, the money needed, plus the fact Real Madrid might have something to say, has seen most Arsenal fans simply laugh this one off. However, the independent writes today that should Mbappé ever move to England, then Arsenal would be his choice, it's claimed Mbappé is said to be very impressed by what Mikel Arteta's work at the club, holding a sense of excitement around the project. That challenge is said to appeal to Mbappé, should he move to England, Mbappé, who cost PSG around pound 170m, is well regarded as one of the world's top superstars. He very nearly led France to a second World Cup last winter too, as he scored a memorable final hat-trick, of course, the idea of Arsenal getting Mbappé is dreamland for fans. After seeing another French legend in Thierry Henry run riot, Arsenal fans would love to see Mbappé do the same. It must be said, however, that the independent does state that no approach has been made. And even if one was, Real Madrid very much remain the favourites to land the forward, all football fans can dream, can't they? So for Arsenal fans, we'll just have to forgive them for getting a bit excited about this one, most will know it's not going to happen but that doesn't mean the idea of having Mbappe can still enter their heads. Stranger things have happened and the Premier League pool can be a big deal. And if Mikel Arteta can lead the Gunners to the title this season, then who knows. The final Arsenal news is that Fabrizio Romano has confirmed an Arsenal update, as he confirms Arsenal could move for £50 million player who impressed Guardiola if Partey leaves, as Arsenal look to complete the signing of Belgium international and Southampton midfielder Romeo Lavia. Arsenal have been heavily linked with a move to sign Romeo Lavia this summer, and Fabrizio Romano has had his say on the situation. The Gunners have already signed Kai Havertz, while deals for Jurian Timer and Declan. Rice are set to be completed very, very soon as well, the focus for Arsenal is on outgoings now and Thomas Partey is reportedly one player who could leave. Romano has claimed on Give Me Sport that Lavia could become the Ghanaian's replacement if that happens. Arsenal have a lot to consider over the next few weeks, Granit Xhaka is set to leave the club after seven years. He's on his way to Bayer Leverkusen, with The Athletic claiming Arsenal are set to make £21.5 million from his sale, along with Jukka, his midfielder partner party could be sold too. The Ghanaian is attracting interest from Juventus and Saudi Arabia, and a move away looks very possible, if that happens, Romano has claimed that Romeo Lavia could become a target to replace him. The Times reported this month that Southampton value him at £50 million, Romano said, if Thomas, Partey, leaves I think this could be a possibility for Arsenal to go for a new midfielder, so let's see. For Romeo Lavia, they are interested for sure, but they never made any bids because again, it depends on Thomas. Lavia joined Southampton from Manchester City last year, before having the best season of his career with the Saints, the young Belgian worked with Pep Guardiola at City, and the Spaniard knows his qualities very well, speaking in a press conference back in April this year, Guardiola said about Lavia, as quoted by TalkSport, I am really impressed with what Romeo has done and is doing. We had, and we have, an incredible opinion about him. We thought to keep him, but maybe he would not, get, enough minutes like he has in Southampton. Do you know the Arsenal news on Jurian Timber? You will enjoy this video on your screen too.